Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you another episode of Scrap Mechanic. Today's episode, we're going to be building a house. Uh, the reason I'm taking this on, I really need to improve on my building of buildings. Um, I do a lot of like vehicle builds, and I feel that I'm, I'm solid at those, but... My actual building, like I get requests all the time for like houses, uh, today I even had a request for a hotel, and just all sorts of buildings, and I'm like, you know, I'm not 100% comfortable with doing them, because I'm, I'm just not sure, you know, if I'm doing a good job, a bad job, uh, I, I re it's really hard for me to judge myself on buildings, so... I feel like I need to put some effort, and we're gonna we're gonna put a farmhouse into the map with all the farm equipment on it. Uh, that might this might become a several part series, not this episode here. This episode, I'm gonna I'm gonna get the house done. I don't know how I'm gonna break the episode up itself to keep it somewhat interesting. Uh, like I said, normally uh, with like building builds, it can be a little stale. You just kind of start put placing walls and all that. But let me see. I'm trying to remember. Oh, there's where I placed the tank. Yeah, by the way, there's the the tanks on this map too, or the mobile artillery. I keep forgetting about that. Um, I don't know why I placed it on this map. I probably should have kept this all farm related items. But let's see. Hopefully, this doesn't lag too much. But I, I feel like this would be kind of cool to start the building here, and then maybe uh, we can add some other things. I don't know about this episode. Maybe add some more farm buildings and maybe even some more farm vehicles. So. Uh, comment below and kind of tell me what you know type of farm vehicles you might want to see next and in a future episode we'll cover that uh, I'm also I'm trying to get some other things together I know a lot of you've been asking for me to like play with other people and that's in the works it just takes time there's everything's about timing especially in my situation with you know work so we're working on that I won't talk about that too much we'll uh we'll talk about that more when it becomes more relevant uh, also, we crossed 4,000 subs. Uh, that was spectacular, and hopefully, when we get to, and I'm gonna say hopefully. I don't, I don't like to say, oh yeah, when we get to 5,000, you know, I'll have a a video of some sorts. Uh, I'm not sure, you know, if we do get there, which I think we will, uh, I'll have a video out for that. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do for it. I don't know if it's gonna be like a scrap mechanic build. It might just be like a just a normal channel update. I'm kind of leaning towards that um, because, like, if I do like a 5,000 sub video, a lot of people, unless I say, like, oh, this is a scrap mechanic build, by the way, you know, you know I'm just, I'm not really sure, some people have had some really neat suggestions for it, uh, I don't know really what I'm gonna do, but yeah, we're gonna try this, I'm gonna try to split this video up into, like, the parts that I feel may be somewhat important, I'm not gonna be able to talk during this whole thing, uh, right now I'm making a, a porch area, I'm gonna have, like, a, a porch that surrounds probably about half of the house itself, and then I'm really curious how I'm going to do all the, like, the arches and stuff for the roof, uh, that's going to be probably the most challenging part, and I, I'm, I just want it to look like, kind of like a classic, uh, country house, you know, something two-story, made out of wood, uh, I don't know, necessarily know if I'm that great at, in, at interiors, so that's going to be a challenge, and I don't know, we'll just, we'll kind of go with what feels right, uh, I'm going to, I'll cut in, I'm not going to be able to talk, because this is going to take me a long time, so I'm not going to be able to, like, talk all the way, so when I feel like I want to show you something, what I'm building, I'll interrupt there, I'll, I'll mark it in my video, and then we'll, we'll kind of discuss what's happening, uh, like I said, what I'm doing here, we're doing a porch, uh, I'm going to do a little roof piece on here, and then we'll actually start with the house, uh, I'm not going to surround the house in a porch, I don't think that would be, I don't think that would be good. Uh, I want to, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that other side. I, I might just do like a house on one side. I, I've already laid down a foundation and I turned off the vegetation or at least turned it down to low because that grass poking up through the floor, even with the foundation being, being like, I think four blocks up, I still had grass coming through the floor. So I just turned it off because it's just, it's a, it'll bug me to no end. So let's see, we're going to do that. Um, uh, if I have time, I might throw a small vehicle in here. I don't know. I have a feeling I won't because this... I can already tell this is going to take a long time, so... I don't know. We'll play it by ear and we'll... Uh, I'll keep you updated and we'll just kind of do this thing. So, let's see. What do I need to move on to next? I think it's going to be best to do just the exterior of the house first and then move to the interior, so... Alright, that, that looks... That looks actually really good. Uh, what I'm thinking here... 
I thought about the porch being on the left side here, but I actually think this is going to be a, a part of the house. Uh, the porch is actually going to wrap around the right side of the house. Uh, I have a really cool design. At least I feel like it looks good on the right side. I'll show you the railings here in a minute. Here, there's going to be a window right in this area. This house is not going to... I don't think I'm going to extend it all the way. Uh, I might do like a patio or something on one side, on that left side. Maybe maybe even like a pool or something. That's not really like a country house, but uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll throw it in there anyways. Uh, I'm not sure. I, I just feel like how big I built the foundation, it's probably too big. Uh, I'm not building a mansion or anything. And like I said, this, this house isn't going to have a lot of moving. Like some people have some really impressive bases and stuff like that with a bunch of moving parts, uh, trap doors and all this other great stuff. I'm not to that point yet. I want to keep it on theme with this map. Not saying that I won't do something like that in the future. I have been working on like a tower and that has been a painful process. I've had to go back several times from the game just crashing and me having all sorts of issues. So I'm not saying like something like that would be in the future. Don't expect something that's going to be like transforms and flies and everything opens up. This is going to be a pretty basic building. So, you know, just kind of telling you that now. Okay, I'm thinking right here, I need to place some sort of, I don't know, plants or something. So maybe we'll build like a small garden area. They have those little, uh, it's like these little dirt mounds with plants in them. Or it looks, I actually think it's just grass. Let me see where they're at. They are, there they are. I actually think that's just grass. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of curious, as, like what are these objects actually for? Because... Everything's going to eventually have a purpose in survival mode. So it's like, you know, what are these? Are, is this going to be like a source of food? Can I grow stuff in like these little boxes or I don't know. That's there's still a lot to be explained about their survival mode. I know that update with the music bots or whatever you want to call them that had a um, they have a purpose. I think, you know, there, there is like killer bots and that doesn't match up. I'm gonna have to move that whole thing over because that's too close to the stairs. But yeah, I'm really curious uh, as the like what the purpose is. So hopefully we'll, we'll figure that out very soon because I'm really excited about the survival mode. This roof is going to be the death of me. I tell you what about this roof. Um, you have to paint all these little pieces individually and you have to place them all individually and uh i'm still using the slant mod uh this map has already used that mod so that's why i'm going to continue to use it on this map you know future builds i'm going to try to go away from it on future like new maps but i'm already using it so i'm going to go ahead and use it on this build but what i'm saying i've noticed a lot of things about the game like when you place these little slants and if you place them too fast the game likes to crash and the same with painting them like you cannot drag and paint these slants uh It'll just, like, you have to do them each individual piece you have to paint. And I've noticed it it does certain things to the game. Uh, I've already had the game lag several times when painting too fast. So I'm going to need to be careful about that. And I already know that's going to be a real pain once, you know, I get to the actual roof part, which everything's going to have to be done individually. And I'm not really sure that's going to be very fun. Um, also, for the second floor, I think we're going to do two blocks per floor why why i'm doing that the reason i'm doing that is that way on the first floor the roof can be one color but the floor doesn't on the second floor doesn't have to be the same color since you can't paint like the sides of each block um that would be a neat thing in the future but you can't do that so i'm going to make the uh, floor itself two panels wide or two panels tall and that should Make it where I can at least paint the floor a different color than what the ceiling has to be on the first floor. So, let's see. I need a wrap around. I'm going to do this. Uh, this is probably about where the porch roof's going to stop. I'm going to do the second floor here. And it's going to be like one of those older style houses. As soon as you like walk in through the front uh, door, the staircase leading up to the second floor is right there. I may have the den to the right and to the left. We'll have like a kitchen and dining area. And then bedrooms and bathrooms all upstairs. So... I think that's a pretty good plan. To, at least it sounds like one. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I didn't mean to cut that out there. Uh, what I was doing, I'm going to start the slant here, but I didn't realize that um, this is going to be one of the arches above a window. And I didn't realize that I need to... Like, I went ahead and built the roof, but I need to have one section here 
That way I actually have a wall here, so... This is actually going to look really neat, I think. Um, the roof's not going to be just your standard, like, it comes up on each corner and just goes straight up. I'm going to actually have shapes to it. I've got a couple of pictures of uh, country houses here, and I really like some of the arches that they do. Um, some of the window, like, there's going to be a big window below this one. Um, I think also we're going to have, like, a fireplace, so on the back side of the house I'll have a... Like, it's not going to be a, a fireplace in the center of a house. It's going to be the one, one of the ones that's on the side. That way you actually see the brick off the fireplace on the back side of the house. Uh, I'll show you that. That's going to be, I feel like that's going to be pretty neat. I'm going to actually have it to where, like, there's actually a hole that goes all the way up. But, you know, that, that arch looks really good. We might shorten the house by three blocks now since I've, I, that's about as far up as I want to go with this arch. So we're going to cut off the side here probably about three blocks and realistically, the back doesn't need to be as, like, I want the front is really where the house is supposed to shine and look, you know, fancy or whatever you want to call it. The back might be a little bit more plain. I, I just, I really, really am focused on the front of the house looking good. I need to figure out a way also to match these slants up because it looks a little awkward. Uh, let's see. That should start. That looks good for stairs. I think I'm going to keep the wood floors. I really like... Like, in houses, I love wood floors. I mean, there's something about them. Especially, this is like a older house, so most likely it is a wood floor. I just, I think they're fantastic looking. Uh, maybe in the living room area, we can have like some sort of, I don't know, rugs or something. Something that's going to break the color up. But uh, I think I'm going to keep the wood flooring. Now, maybe in, in the kitchen, we can do like those tile pieces and we can match it up. Maybe just, just do like a, maybe a checkerboard tile uh, a black and white or something. I think that would look good. Let's see. I gotta figure out just how tall I want the ceilings to be because that's gonna be. Uh, I need to keep in mind about the two blocks. All right, this is actually looking really good. I, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead. And I'm gonna get the bottom painted. Um, I feel that looks. Yeah, this all looks really good actually. Uh, I might change that window up a bit. I might make it bigger. Uh, that's probably going to be the dining room, and then you can see where the porch rat, uh, wraps around the house here. I didn't make it wrap around all the way to the back, because that's just, to me, that's a little too big, but let's see. I need to continue this roof. Uh, we're actually making, this isn't fast. Um, I think we're going on, like, probably two and a half hours. I, I've changed some things up, but uh, I feel like I'm making decent time with this, and the second floor shouldn't be that challenging once I place the walls, and we'll just have to figure the roof out. But, yeah, I feel confident here. All right, we've had uh, I've had some issues uh, over the past hour, some really interesting issues. Um, I've had the game crash on me a lot, and I think I don't know. Like I want to have to go back and see what footage I can save. It was because when I was placing the roof, it I started placing like I was getting impatient and I started kind of going fast, and then I started painting fast, and the game crashed. I think three separate times. Um, yeah, I really don't know a way to avoid that besides going really slow, and this build is already taking a long time, so either if I can save that footage, that's going to be nice. If not, I'll show you the roof. Uh, you pretty much saw some of the... I think I have the footage with the arches and all that. You'll get to see that, but as far as the top, uh, there's going to be some pieces. If I can't salvage them, they're going to look weird. Also, you know, I think it's the only way I can do that. I, I wanted to have like a rug here. I didn't like the other... The other textures, I didn't like the concrete texture for a rug. It looked okay, but maybe I'll keep that. I'm really going to probably place a table on it. Also, over here, uh, over here, you see all these controllers stuck in the uh, the wall here. What I'm doing, I'm going to have all the doors all hooked up in one central location so you can go in here and adjust. Uh, I started the kitchen, but I'm going to wind up tearing it apart. Um, I'm going to redo... Most of it, but there's some sections I'm not happy with, and I'm gonna extend it out. I don't feel I feel like it's not big enough, so we're gonna go in and redo that completely. I don't like the way it transitions into the dining room. Uh, I like some of the furniture that I started to build in there, but I'm I'm not 100% happy with it. So I've got some good good plans for it, but we'll go back and redo it here. This is gonna be awesome looking. Um. I think this fence looks cool. Uh, 
I don't know if this is the best looking fence, but I think, I mean, it looks cool to me. See what you guys think. I'm going to go ahead and place a pull out here. To be honest with you, I think it would really look good. Uh, I extended the wall out in the kitchen, and I've got everything, like, measured right. I need to go back and redo some of the kitchen furniture, and I'm probably going to redo the window in there. Uh, I'm not, like, all happy with that. Uh, for the fence here, we're going to do black. It's going to break it up. The foundation has some white, and it's got a black base on it. So we're going to do, we're going to have, like, layers. We're going to have black, white, and black. And then uh, we'll do the pool area. So this is kind of turning into a little bit more of a fancy country house. <laughs> I don't know too many of them that have pools, but... I think once we do this, and we'll add some more farm buildings. I think this will be a really fun map. Uh, that, and once we add some more vehicles, we're just going to have to completely ignore the whole fact that there is a tank in this map. Uh, that's the only thing that's funny. I'm still trying to figure out why I did that. I did the 2.5 ton vehicle in here too, the, uh, the truck, so... It's going to be weird. Maybe the two and a half ton isn't as weird as having a full-fledged tank, so. Uh, we'll do tile on the... F the top layer is going to be tile. I think the concrete will actually look good. Since we don't have water in the game, I'm going to place a layer of concrete. And we'll paint it blue. I think it'll look good, actually. So, let's... Uh, let's grab the concrete. And let's stick it in here. I'm thinking... Uh, I mean, it doesn't necessarily have, like, the water doesn't have to be really deep because there is no water. So I think just having this on the surface looks good. Let's find a blue, maybe a, maybe a light blue here. Let's see. I, I, I think I actually like that. Yeah, we'll do this. And then I'm going to, I have a tile layer that I'm going to, we'll paint it. Maybe we'll checkerboard it. Uh, I think that would be good. Let's maybe do like, let's just maybe do the black white here since it kind of matches the deck and the fence. Oh yeah, uh, I think that looks actually good. I'm getting a little bit excited at how this is turning out, so hopefully we can finish strong. Alright, this actually turned out a lot better than I thought. Uh, if you're not familiar with this map, I did have it for download. There's the farm, or the barn. I've got the tractor in there. The attachments are over here to the right. Um, I've got the two and a half ton truck. We need to, I'll probably build like some awnings and maybe like a silo, another, I don't know. I kind of want to hear what you guys want to see on this map in particular, uh, as regards to like farm vehicles. You're going to have to ignore the big tank back there because I mean, it's just there. But yeah, you can see the, uh, let me go ahead and close this. You can see the shape of the house. I'm actually really happy. I didn't want to make the roof any taller. Um, uh, I've got a couple blocks I'm going to have to go back in here. There's going to be some things I need to go and touch up, but I think for the most part we're done. Um, I might add one more window on this side. I'm not sure. Here's the back side. There's the chimney that I was talking about. Uh, you've got a power box and an air conditioner unit back here. Uh, like I said, I might have missed... This has taken a really long time, so I might need to go back and do some paint touch up. I'll probably notice things during this walkthrough that I'm going to need to go... Like, I'm going to need to go correct, so... Anyways, here's the front. Here's a little garden area. You got the nice porch. Let's go and open up the door. And here's the interior. I'm probably not going to show myself building most of the interior because I want to save it for the walkthrough. I don't want to show me build it and then like, oh, well, here's the walkthrough of the same thing you just watched. So there's the fireplace. Got a little wood in there. Some plants. Um, I kind of like the fire engine red. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to keep that. Uh, here's the dining area. Uh, like I said, I'm not, I don't, I don't think I'm that great at making furniture, but I feel like this is a solid attempt. Uh, I think it will only get better. Here's some cabinets. You've got the uh, top and what happened here? Okay, game. Let's see, I seem to be stuck. Okay, there we go. Anyways, there's a sink area. I've got the stove on the right. Let me go ahead and fix something here. What am I, where is it? I think I should probably put some sort of, like, I said those are cabinets up there. Let's break them up a bit. Uh, they're not going to be even. Maybe the middle cabinet will be the ones that open up on each side. And you get the side cabinets here. I've been using these uh, screw, or I guess this is a, a screw or something, whatever this is. I've been using that for handles. I think it actually looks good, so let's paint those yellow. There we go. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with the way the kitchen came out. Uh, the stove looks pretty cool. You've got all that, the radio. 
Uh, some plants. There's my attempt at a fridge. And this just leads right back into the kitchen. So it's a nice little area. We'll go outside and look at the uh, pool area here in a second. Anyways, go up here. I haven't completed all these rooms. I, this one's empty, and I think I'm going to add a window to that one. Uh, I'm kind of running out of time today, but we'll go back and correct that. Maybe that'll be another be uh, bedroom. Here's the bathroom. Got your little, I don't know, uh, I would say it's a little bigger than a normal tub, but there's your tub. Got some windows. I thought about doing some sort of privacy blinds. I don't know, but that's a that's a pretty solid area. And here's a room I'm just using for storage right now. It technically have a three bedroom house, but I didn't want to just like place beds in each room. It looked kind of weird. But here's the I would call this the master bedroom. Just got some area, uh, some stuff here, a dresser, the bed. I stuck the two beds together and put a little board or a little base on there. But anyways, let's go outside. I like the way this uh, we go out here. Here's the pool area, and this actually looks really cool. Um, that concrete looks really solid, you know. And I might go back and change. I was talking about those rugs earlier, and the more I, I think it it could just be that it's in the sun and it looks different. But from inside, when I placed those that concrete down to try to make rugs, it didn't look 100 percent right. Um, but anyways, we're gonna swing out here, look at the interior exterior one more time. I didn't put any windows up on this side on the second floor because it's a really small area, but I feel like I need to stick one more up on this left side up here. But other than that, and besides like filling up those rooms, I, I feel like this came out really solid. I, I'm a lot happier than like I thought I would be. Um, and I actually made it through the build. <laughs> There's a couple of times where I thought, well, maybe I shouldn't be doing this. Maybe I should scrap this. But anyways, this is going to be permanently on the farm map we'll do some more things with that i've got some other cool games coming up uh maybe eventually if we reach the 5000 mark we'll have another video for that a little maybe just channel update and announcements or whatever we need to do but i hope you enjoyed the video if you'd like to like and subscribe everything really helps my channel and we will see you guys next time thank you